When do we use a shotgun microphone and the boom setup? The shotgun microphone is equipped to pick up sounds in front of it, while rejecting all others. It has an exceptionally narrow focus and keys in on the human voice specifically. Shotgun microphones are commonly used for picking up dialogue without actually having a microphone in the shot at all. If you open the Rode shotgun mic case, you'll find the long cylindrical shotgun mic, a single AA battery, a Rode protection cover, and an adapter cable that can connect the shotgun mic to the camera via a longer cable you'll find in the soft boom pole case along with the boom pole itself. First, take the shotgun mic, find the crease on the shaft and unscrew the bottom half to insert the battery. Thread the mic through the center of the web-like shock mount at the top of the boom pole, leading with the head of the mic. Cover the head of the shotgun mic with the road cover. Find the end of the large cable that has three holes and connect that to the end of the shotgun mic by matching the holes with the prongs. Push until you hear a click. Connect the other end of this cable to the three-hole end of the small camera adapter also by matching the holes with the prongs and pushing until you hear a click. Take the other end of the small adapter and connect it to the mic input on the camera. Microphone placement is key to getting the best sound. The best place for a shotgun microphone is as close to the desired sound source as possible, and in most cases that is the speaking person's mouth. To eliminate excess handling noise, Tape down the cable slack to your boom pole or simply wrap the excess around the pole. Disassemble your boom mic by removing the cover from the shotgun mic, removing the mic from the shock mount, disconnecting the large cable from the shotgun mic by clicking the silver release button, disconnect the adapter from the large cable by also clicking the silver release button, and then unplug the adapter from the camera. Remove the battery from the shotgun mic in the same way you inserted it. Lay the battery, the microphone, the cover, and the adapter back in the small road case and then zip it up. Carefully coil the large cable so that you don't stretch it. Follow the natural spine of the cable in a circular motion. Once it is wrapped, put it neatly back in the large boom case along with the boom pole and close the case.